started Good Strange Vibes about two years ago. At that time, um, I was in recovery from an eating disorder, um, which I had when I was at school in sixth form. And then I'd left the uni, um, kind of hoping everything would just kind of fix itself. I was quite like I was far through in my recovery. I'm definitely not claiming that my art like completely solved everything, but it definitely helped me um, properly recover. So one day I just kind of thought, oh, I'll draw myself instead of kind of picking out the things I don't like. I definitely didn't know what would kind of come of that, um, but it really stopped me from seeing my body in such a like judgmental light and instead kind of seeing it as more of like a, just almost like a, just a living being that I was just objectively drawing as it was. And I started to really like the art that I produced. And then in feeling proud and like admiration for the artwork, which was of my body, it rejigged my mind to think, oh, okay, my body is beautiful and worthy of appreciation. And now I just draw a different range of different bodies and with kind of positive affirmations and mental health messages alongside them. And I think art's a really nice way of bringing messages that I'm passionate about forward in a kind of tangible and meaningful way. What is it like being a part of this new wave of body positivity that is really changing people's lives. Yeah, it's, it's really nice to feel part of a like a bigger movement um, and have that backing and like support. It's not just like me by myself. Obviously, there's so many people who are active and doing so much to do with the body, like to do body positivity. Um, but it's also really weird, a weird feeling of being part of the movement because it's obviously being capitalised on a lot. Um, by different kind of beauty products and th like companies that have always said the opposite are suddenly now saying it's not that you need to buy our um, skin cream because you're aging and aging is ugly it's because you're going to feel really empowered when you wear it um, so it's a weird thing where it's now really associated with that kind of industry as well I kind of feel somehow like sometimes a bit conflicted in my platform and really kind of mindful and I often like worry about the way I'm using it and am I taking the space from someone who desert like a more marginalized body um obviously I'm white and I'm still slim and um, so I don't experience fat phobia and I didn't experience that while I was in recovery um and I don't have any of the like racialized hatred or um difficulties to deal with in society but I guess it's a sort of thing where lots of people should do it but certain voices should be pushed to the forefront and I think with the body positivity movement it originated from um like the fat positivity movement and um feminism and those voices really should be at the forefront. Mm -hmm.